What's up guys, Chaz here. This is gonna be my day one check-in. Like I said in my first video I put up this morning, um, I really, really, really wanna bust out as many videos as I can for my own personal accountability. If I help inspire even one person to get up off their butt and to start their journey, that's awesome. That's what I'm doing these videos for. My personal journey started five or six years ago and I started with P90X and Insanity, the first ones. I stuck with those programs and I had extremely good results and it's because I put myself out there on video on YouTube and that was for my own accountability and out of that I helped inspire a lot of people and it feels amazing so I want to get back to my roots and do that now. So with my first check-in, Mondays are kind of long. Mondays are definitely my exhausting days mainly because I do my own workout in the morning time usually and then I have a fit club that I host here in town where I bring my beach body workouts and we do them there. So here's how today played out. <clears throat> and there's a tip with this one too. Uh, the tip is make sure you create time to eat. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but today was one of those days I didn't think about it and I didn't eat all day. And then I realized an hour before my fit club, I need to eat something because I'm going to pass out. <laughs> so I ate my 700 calorie breakfast, which I posted in that video earlier. And uh, from there, I had a typical work day at home. I, I'm a full-time Beachbody coach, so I did my usual um, business work at home. I let the day slip by, and I didn't get my workout in, which was the challenge from X3, and that one is all push-ups, pull-ups. I didn't get that in until about four is when I started that. And here's tip number two. So number one is make sure you create time. Set alarms if you need to, but create time to make sure you're eating on a regular basis. So you're not in a situation where I'm at right now where it's the end of the night and I still have to make up um, 1800 calories, which is gonna be a pretty big meal. <laughs> and I know I'm not gonna feel the best after eating it, but these calories right now are important. So uh, that's tip number one. Tip number two is your children should be motivation. They should not be an excuse to skip your workouts to not take care of yourself physically and mentally um, as far as your health. Um, I, I was uh, watching my boy today, my wife Trista went back to work today, so today was the first full day of me testing out. I have to watch him all day. Um, so it came to my workout time and I realized, I looked at, looked at the clock and it was coming up on four o'clock and I thought, crap, I'm gonna have to squeeze this workout in right now. And he wasn't sound asleep, which is where I would have, have liked my little boy Ty to be at but he was kind of in between falling asleep, fighting it, and being fussy. So my 30-minute workout, because I had to keep hitting pause, pick him up, um, hold him for a few minutes, put him back to sleep, um, that took me about 45 minutes to get that done. So that's a prime example of it doesn't matter what situation you're going through. You always have a way to fit your exercise in. It doesn't matter if it's just a 10-minute walk, if it's going to be a 30-minute workout, 45-minute workout, but your children should be your motivation to do it because you need to be there as their parent for as long as you can and and stay as healthy as you can so you can actually engage in their life and not not be stuck in a hospital bed later on. Um, that, that was just stuff that was going on through my head as I'm working out and looking at him right there. I had him right there with me um, doing the push-ups and the pull-ups and all that stuff. Um, it, it was, a, it was a prime example of a day that I could have easily skipped that workout and just said, Oh, my little boy is fussy. I have to take care of him first. Um, I was able to take care of him plus squeeze in a few reps. Um, just go back and forth. You know what? Just drop the excuses guys. Use your family as motivation, not as an excuse. Um, and these videos are not going to be my typical videos that I've done on my other channel, uh, coach Chaz fitness. Primarily because that's a lot of informative stuff. I'm teaching you guys and whatnot, but in this video series, I'm bringing you into my head. I'm bringing you into my life. Um, so there's probably going to be a daily video and uh, just sharing my journey because, like I said earlier, I, if I inspire one person um, just to drop the excuses and to go after something as far as a goal or a dream to better their health, that 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 means the world to me. So concluding day one. I did P90X3, the challenge, at home. I was able to sneak in a quick snack, which was an apple and peanut butter. I was able to sneak that in as another pre-workout to my Fit Club. And at Fit Club, we did P90X3 MMX, which is kickboxing style. And then uh, we finished up with Ab Ripper X. So I did 
two workouts plus abs. So you can imagine I'm a little on the tired side. And this is a, one other tip, we'll call this tip number three. If you know you have a long day that's physically active like I had today, eat extra calories. Carbs, protein, fats. Make sure you eat extra because you need to fully recover rather than wake up tomorrow in a caloric deficit and beat the crap out of yourself again. Just make sure you're taking care of your body. The more active you are, the more calories you need. I know it's it's a struggle to eat more because automatically we look, we look at the scale and think, oh, I'm going to gain weight. That's not the case, guys. The more active you are, the more you need to eat. A lot of people struggle with their weight loss because they are under eating. When your body gets the right amount of nutrients and the right amount of calories, it doesn't need the extra body fat, so it starts to burn that off because you're giving it enough through food. Um, I'm getting into a tangent at this point, so I'm going to cut the video right here at six minutes and call it a night. So I am here at the grocery store getting ready to go stock up on food and do some meal prepping tonight. And if you guys want to see my little tip on meal prepping, go to my Coach Chaz Fitness page on Facebook and scroll down and you'll see the video I put up last week. Aside from that, day one in the books, my nutrition is spot on, minus the fact that I did not time my meals out the right way. Um, so I still have 1,800 calories to make up, but I'm going to get those things in one way or another. <laughs> it's been Coach Chaz. Peace out. Thanks for following if you guys are. I'll see you later.